Hello, Nate here again, um, and we're going to discuss some more product reviews. So this is Review Everything, and yes, I have been playing with this for the past two hours about. It's pretty great. So today we're going to talk about something I'm pretty passionate about, and that's um, miniature painting. So I have um, gotten some paints that I'd like to share and just say which ones I think are best. Um, it really, whatever you like, you like. These are just my opinions, so this is kind of going to be a count up, so here we go. Or count down, whatever. So the first one I got in here is Tamaha. So, it's a um, Japanese made paint. These are all acrylics, by the way. Um, I'm really not the biggest fan. It's very watery, and that's um, a turn down for me in paints. It, it is a good paint, but it takes so many layers, and I know acrylic, you're supposed to take many layers, I, I know that. But this one's just way too many layers, like, way too many, like, you're gonna have to go over it, like, five times at least. I just don't, it doesn't hold up for me, really, um, especially, there's so many better paints, which I'll get to show in. I mean, it's not bad, and I know people who have loved it, like, it's their favorite paint, they go home, they write about it, you know. It's good for them, but just so you can get a better look at the can, yeah, I mean, not really my favorite, but like I said, have your own opinions. Next one I have is Cinnadel. Now, Cinnadel is traditionally sold at Games Workshop, um, which is the 40k and Warhammer locations of gaming, so it's made for smaller miniatures, um, not really the best for, like, Gundam models, I've learned, it's, it's good, it's good quality paint, um, but only on the mini stuff, I think, also, compared to, like, the Tomaha, which is about, like, four, like, a little under four dollars, it's, like, about three fifty, this is, four dollars plus tax sometimes four fifty games workshop is known for their outrageous prices so Sindel it's it's not the greatest in my opinion like I said it's my second um, of the four that I'm reviewing and I don't know I just it's not the greatest in my opinion it's very um it's less watery if you're looking for a not watery paint yes um, however, it just, and the shine is really good, but compared to some, like I've said, it's, it's not the greatest. Now, moving up on the scale, one that I actually do like, but I have problems with, it's Vlajo. Now, Vlajo is a Spanish made, um, uh, so the last two we looked at then are European paints, I'm forgetting these to mention this. So, Sindel's um, a traditionally English paint. This is Spanish. Now, Vlajo, if you couldn't tell by the name already, yeah, that's it's made in Spain. Um, it's a very accurate paint, which is why I like it. It's known as probably the best um, miniature paint that you can get um, by a lot of people. They would, you know, for acrylic anyhow. The only thing I don't like is you got this little dripper on the top, which I'm not going to open the cap because I'm over carpet and... That wouldn't be cool to, you know, have to replace that. So, you kind of got to pour it, and you kind of got to mix it up a little. It's more kind of like traditional painting. Um, that part I don't like. It's super watery, but it is a super accurate, and the colors are very good. Um, they match pretty much exactly what you're getting on that little, like, swab. It's, it's good in that regard. Um... This one's the Prussian blue. So, I mean, this pretty much, all the ones except the Sindel you can get at your, um, it's like local hobby store. They have, uh, the next one I'm going to show it, like Hobby Lobby. Not like I'd, they're not exactly a hobby store of that type, but they do still sell it. So, moving on to my last and favorite. Got Model Master. Now, Model Masters is actually now owned by um, Rust-Oleum. Their uh, history is pretty neat. They were actually um, owned by 
don't quote me on it. I know I'm going to get wrong, but it's a European immigrant. I think I want to say Swedish, but not quite sure on that one. But definitely a European immigrant who actually made this kind of cementing material. And um, then, like, people were using that cementing material for, like, miniatures once that became more popular to, like, you know, do that. So they put it in this paint, and that's, like, been their whole claim to fame. It, um, if you got, like, any loose joints, especially on, like, Gundam or Gumpla models, very good. I, uh, use it more of their clear for that. But this is just their purple. Um, and I love it. Like, it, it goes on, like, primer's still necessary, but I wouldn't say it doesn't prime itself. It's v very good as a paint. I just, I love everything about it. it. It's great for beginners, like, you don't need to worry. Like, a lot of people, when they're, you know, in miniature painting at first, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna get it where I need it, or, oh... You really don't have to worry about that with this. And for those people, anyhow, it's not that big of a deal. I thought the same way. But I'm no, like, major artist, but I, I manage. So, I don't know. This is probably the best on my list. Um, it's also made in the USA, so I like that. Um, supporting American jobs, it's, you know, it's helping the country. Um, but... It's just a really good quality paint. I'd pick some up if you've never tried it. I was a little leery at first. I'm like, oh, you know, breaking away from these European paints I normally use. But not to say that any country can make one better than the other. I ended up with all European paints, and it was really weird. But Model Master's definitely my favorite um, overall. Like I said, they're all acrylic. These are about, they're about $3. They're actually probably the cheapest. I don't know if that's just because they're made in the USA, which is kind of unusual, but I guess they don't have to ship them as far. Or they're just a really well-known company. There are a lot more, you'll see, like, the names are made for, like, cars, whereas Velaho's more made for, like, a lot more war terms on them, you'll see. So... I've never done a car model. I've done a couple, like, Warhammer tanks, but I wouldn't consider those tank models. But anyhow, I wouldn't be, you know, like, frightened just by the name of it. Because if you look, like, I believe, yep, Retributor Armor, that's a really specific thing to um, Warhammer, especially Age of Sigmar, because the Retributors, they're, like, one of the main troops um, of Sigmar. So that's a little lore for later. But... Really, really good product, this one here. I think it, it wins the cake. Can't say enough about it. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you like it. Like if you like it. Comment anything. If you have any comments you want me to do reviews on, just let me know. And uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you.